Hey everyone, in this video, we're gonna learn how to add easy fake fog in Blender. Just a quick and easy tutorial, so let's get started. Starting with the fog setup, here in Blender, I have my 3D scene set up already and I'm gonna add a little bit of fog behind my 3D character. So let's search for fog mist PNG in Google and select any fog image that you like. Just make sure it's not getting too cropped on the edges and after downloading, press Shift A to add image as a mesh plane and select the fog mist PNG that we downloaded earlier. Here, the image is imported and I'm gonna switch to the render view by pressing Shift Z. As we can see, the fog is not much visible. So to fix that, let's go to the shader editor and add a little bit of emission strength to it. I'm also changing this color to blue since that's the environment I've set up, but you can keep the fog white as well. As we can see, there's some cutoff on the edges. So to fix that, let's select the fog image and scale it on the X axis by pressing S and X. Now switching to the camera view, just make sure the edges are not visible and we can see a layer of fog is formed behind the character. We can press Shift D to create another layer of fog but just make sure the edge is not visible in the camera. Repeating this process, we can create a few more layers and stack them to create an illusion of depth using the fog. To control the amount of fog, in the shader editor, press Shift A and search for color ramp and I'm gonna drop it between the alpha node here. The white slider will increase the fog and the black slider will decrease the fog. What I like to do is select the white slider and change this color to a little bit of gray which will add some transparency to the fog. Similarly, I'm gonna press Shift D to duplicate the fog image and bring it in front of our character. Scaling the fog image down a little bit and adjusting the positioning so it appears in front of the character and in camera as well, helping to add a bit of depth in the composition. And we can compare how it looks without the fog added and with the fog added. Again, just play around with the positioning of the fog and the number of fog images to create some fun and different results. The color of the fog can also be changed anytime to create different vibe and to match the fog with your environment. And this is how the final image looks like. So if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to help reach the next goal of 1000 subscribers. See you guys in the next video. Thank you.